What does 648 mean? 648 is how many delegates we've won. Ah. So that's a changing number. Look at that. You guys are picking up delegates. As we speak. As we speak. Yes. You guys perform better on Tuesday and are in a better place than I think even you would have imagined. It is, we is planned it that way. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me the story of that Sunday through Monday night. It wasn't like you knew that any of that was going to happen. You must have been like, man, we are some lucky son of bitches here. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is, right? Although Saturday night it became apparent that some people would probably have to end their campaigns. Hey, a week earlier people thought that was going to be us, yes. right? But we were thrilled that Monday turned out the way it did. When we woke up Monday morning, we actually did not think we were going to end Monday where we were. We spent that day sort of thinking through, we have one shot to really get this right. Monday morning, we had outreach from Pete and from Amy about coming on board. We spent a lot of time that morning thinking through how can we sequence this in a way that's going to give us the most airtime? We wound up coordinating a series of events. The pre-Dallas rally with Mayor Pete. Then we have the big event with Senator Klobuchar. Then we have the sort of surprise. Better O'Rourke comes out in the end. Essentially, cable news was live on Joe Biden from like 6.30 through 11.30 that night the Biden blackout, mm -hmm. if you will, on TV right. the night before people are going in to vote. Okay, back to my original it is the case that you guys have a big lead right now. If you go back and look at 2016, after Super Tuesday, Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. was ahead by more than 200 pledged delegates. Yes. Even though there was no path by which Sanders could close her lead, mm -hmm. he fought a bitter fight that went on for several months mm -hmm. more. And a lot of people look back and say that the lack of unity ended up being one of the factors that cost Hillary Clinton the presidency, mm -hmm. right? If he was willing to fight that fight when he was backed by 200 pledged delegates, do we not expect that he's going to just really fight you guys tooth and nail for the next three months? And does that not worry you? We've always known that we might have to fight this into the convention as Hillary Clinton's campaign did in 2016. But here's the big difference, John, which is Donald Trump is in the White House. Right. Senator Sanders has said, and he clearly believes that we have to get Donald Trump out of the White House, so it's going to be his decision. Now, Senator Sanders said again this week that he feels that if a candidate enters the convention with a plurality, that they should be the nominee, and we will certainly hold him to that. Is Joe Biden prepared that it's going to get uglier and it's going to get nastier? Is the candidate prepared for that? Nobody in this race has had to take more direct fire. I mean, Donald Trump got himself impeached trying to coerce foreign countries into mm -hmm. attacking him. Yeah. Not only did he withstand it, but he thrived. He won 10 contests on Super Tuesday all across the country where people said, I reject what Donald Trump is doing, and he is not going to smear Joe Biden.